I'm in a great mood today because we have warmth and sunshine. Man, last week was like torturous weather hell. It was like in the 30s and sleeting rain and snow and I blew a breaker and I was stumbling around out in the, you know, dusk of night trying to figure out what I was going to do. Yeah, there was a big house. I could have gone in there, but um, I wanted to figure out what I would do if I was dry docking out in the boonies, right? So, you know, the generator needs to be charged and I've been waiting till I got my solar panels so I'm going to do that today so I will include that in the video because I already have an earlier video I'm going to incorporate that shows me opening the box and all that good stuff so I'm going to see if the solar panels do some charging but I've got to get the battery down because I charged it last night but at any rate we'll deal with that later so at any rate uh, my solution finally was just to run a cord from <laughs> an extension cord and finally Gary's son came over and hooked me up. But um, yeah, I guess I gotta get used to no, no electricity and what I'm gonna do. Gonna keep that generator charged up, that's for sure. And um, so today I'm gonna finish the solar part and I'm in the meal right now. I have to go up and water the kitties. But I'm excited, I'm winding down, getting ready to leave. Got a few more projects, get the spare tire. Uh, the roof got painted, um, spare tire is gonna be a problem because it's underneath the RV in this rack and it's going to take a good solid man to get that out of there and I don't want to drive my RV to the shop because I would have to tear it down and all that same reason I don't have gas man the furnace works great in this thing um, the problem is I ran out of propane early when I got here and I've been using 20 pound tanks because all I've done is heated water and done a little cooking so um but it sure does warm the RV up. It shoots hot air across the floor, so your floors are warm. So that's the difference between using that and an electric heater. And I'm gonna find out because I won't have electric most places. So today I'm gonna try and plug my RV directly into the generator. It's charging from the outlet. I'll deal with the uh, solar panels tomorrow. Well, I'm ready to try to plug my solar generator in to the RV to see if it connects. As you can see, I charged it last night. I blew a broke I blew a breaker again like at midnight I'm in bed all cozy playing on the laptop and all of a sudden boom everything goes out you think I wasn't freaked out so I decided I had to plug this in in case by morning I couldn't fix the issue and I got the breakers to connect again so who knows probably gonna burn in my bed right you saw that movie whoops <laughs> So, let's go see if we have juice in here. No, nothing's coming on. Let me see if I need to switch something up here. I wonder if that means anything. The breaker box is still flashing. Oh, I forgot there's that delayed thing. So maybe it'll kick on in a minute. I know when I reset it electrically, it has to do that for a little bit and everything kicks in. So, let's give it a shot. I heard it, I heard it, uh, that went off, so now's when everything should work. If it's gonna work, where's the remote? Yeah, this place is a mess right now. Oh, 
The TV's coming on. I got TV power. But see, I can plug this stuff straight into the generator and get that. What I need is the heat. My heat came on. I'm so excited. My TV came on. That's plugged with my RV plugged directly. It's like I have two hours with my RV directly plugged in and that's running the heat. So yeah, I already know that my portable air conditioner hooks right into that. I think I have more time left when I did it that way. I don't know. At least I know if I keep that thing charged, I'm going to have some backup coffee and stuff like that. So, and it does plug directly into my RV. I'm excited. All right. I hear a kitty meow. Okay. It looks like this is saying a half hour more, almost at half charge and 1440 output so i'm using that much out of 2000 i guess right now i have my electric fireplace on i shut the furnace off for most of that time so i didn't use the furnace all that long and it's just the you know whatever drains it when you just plug it in even though you're not using anything i mean i have some air fresheners <laughs> plugged in and i have a couple flea traps plugged in so I'm not sure exactly how that calculates into it, but I think I'm going to get better usage out of my solar generator if I just use it to plug things into it and not plug the whole RV in. So now I'm going to see if I can get it charged back up with the solar panels I bought. I'm going to try to get my solar panels out. It's supposed to be full sun today, but it's actually kind of cloudy, but we'll see what happens. Um, my solar generator calls for 400 um, solar panels, 400 watts, and I have a 300. They said they could go up to 500. The 300 will charge me every afternoon and morning. I'm going to try to make it. I bought cordage. I think over 20 feet, maybe 30 feet of cordage. If you count what's already on the one that came with the solar panels. So I'm going to try to make it so I can leave my generator in the house while I'm charging. That way I don't ever really have to worry about theft or anything. I did buy some alarm um, lock, chain locks. So we'll see. This is an experiment. So follow along, see what happens. Okay, 78% at three, uh, four hours. And the sun is not bright. It's 3.30 in the afternoon. It's losing whatever power it had. It's 3.30. I'm gonna try to keep it there and when I'm in route, uh, get it as close to the cigarette lighter as I can. I think my cigarette lighter works, but I have to test that also.